So we are now doing question four um, of the November 2022 final paper. So this is the paper that they did. Let's just read the questions that are given here. So it says here that Itumeleng makes and sells bird houses at a local flea market. So we are given an extra C for this. Um, so we are given an extra C and then it says they chose the diagram of the parts of the birdhouse and the assembly instructions. Again, we are being asked to assemble something. He uses a single board that is 14 centimeters wide and 20 millimeters thick. Okay. Um, to make one birdhouse. So we've got a picture of the completed birdhouse and then we need to use the information um, on C. There we go. That is an extra C. We've got all the dimensions of it. Okay. All of that. And it tells us what to do and how to also use it in terms of that. So we've got the roof, the front, the sides, the back. Um, and the floor, okay? That's what we are going to be using. Let's look at the questions. The first question says to us, show rounded to the nearest hundred. Please don't forget this, so important. That the length of the board needed for a single birdhouse is 1,500 millimeters. So we need to show, rounded to the nearest hundred, that the length um, of the board needs to be that. So here it says to us um, that he uses a single board that is 14 centimeters wide um, and then 20 millimeters thick to, to make the to make the birdhouse. So in order for us um, to answer a question that looks like this and be able to get that particular answer, we need to go back here. Do we have anything that is telling us about the board? We don't have the board here. Okay, let's look at question 4.1.1. Show rounded to the nearest 100 that the length of the board that is needed for the single birdhouse is that. So that means that we need to calculate all of it combined. Okay, so if we go back and we look at this board over here, we have got 19 centimeters. So we're going to add that with 23 centimeters, added with 10 centimeters, added by this 25, this 23, and this 41. So that is going to give us exactly what it is that we need. So let's go back and just add all of those together. So 19 centimeters plus 23 centimeters plus 10 plus 25 centimeters, plus 23 centimeters, plus 41 centimeters. Let's go put that in the calculator. 19 plus 23, plus 10, plus 25, plus 23, plus 41. So that gives us 141 centimeters. 141 centimeters. And then it also tells us that we um, need to round it off to the nearest hundred. But then it, it's also giving us millimeters there. So we need to convert this to millimeters first. So we know there are 10 millimeters in a centimeter. So we are going to add a zero. Okay. So this number is closer to five. If I'm rounding it off to the closest hundred. So it's going to be 1,500 millimeters. 
And that's exactly what we are being asked to do in that question. Itumeleng started, I mean, she stated um, that in step two, the 10 centimeter side of the floor will go against the floor. Verify showing all your calculations whether this is correct. So we need to use um, our calculations in this particular regard. So step two of us building the birdhouse, the 10 centimeter of the floor will go against the back. So let's go and see. So, this is the back that we've got here. So, when we are calculating the back, what we should know is that 20 centimeters, okay, is going to go. So, let me just put them um, there. So, it's gonna, there's going to be 120 centimeter going there. There's going to be 120 centimeter meaning I'm going to be left with 10 um, centimeters. So all I need to do in that regard is that I need to just subtract. Okay. So I've got... So I've got there... 14 centimeters minus 20. Please remember that when we are subtracting, you can't subtract centimeters and millimeters and millimeters. Okay, so you, you need to convert it first. And when you are converting it first, 14 minus 2, because this is 2 centimeters. This is 2 centimeters. So that's going to be left with 10 centimeters. Therefore, his claim is valid. Please be very careful. The front part of the birdhouse has a circular hole with a diameter of 4,2 centimeters drilled um, into it. Remember? Diameter is from there to there, so that's 4,2 centimeters. Calculating centimeters, the exposed um, surface area of the front part of the birdhouse. You may use the following formula um, and so on and so forth. So we know that there's a circular hole, okay, with that diameter. So we need to calculate the exposed part. So what we are going to do is that we are going to first calculate the entire area. And then we are going to calculate the area of the circle. And then we're going to subtract them with each other. And that's how you do um, these particular ones. So let's go and see. So area of rectangle that is given. Area of rectangle is length times breadth. We have that. Let's go and see which one we are speaking about in particular. Area of rectangle is length times breadth. And that simply means we are going to be using side 1, or which is 23 times 14. Okay? 23 times 14. No, we are using the front. Sorry, we are using the front. So that's 23 times 14. Okay, so we're using the front of it. Twenty three times fourteen is equal to three hundred and twenty two centimeters square. Please remember that area is in squares. Okay, and then we need to calculate the area of um, the circle. So area of circle 
is pi radius square. So pi is given as 3,142. The radius that we have been given um, is in terms of diameter. So we need to divide that by 2. 4,2 divided by 2 squared. You get a mark for that. Okay. Let's go put that in our calculator. 3, 1, 4, 2 times... Uh, I'm going to put that there, 4,2 divided by 2 squared. That gives you 13,85622 centimeters squared. And then we need to then subtract this from this. And it's going to tell you what the exposed um, part of it is. Okay. So, if I'm subtracting that, I'm going to be subtracting 322 minus 13, 5, 13. Please don't round off too quickly. You see, I'm putting them all in as they are. So that's 322 minus 13, 856, 856, 22, 308, 1, 4, 3, 7, 8 centimeter squared. You can also round it off to two decimal places. So if I am rounding it off to two decimal places, it will be 308,14 centimeter squared. Don't forget to write this one as well.